welcome to Chuck Stall Update. This is a little introduction to our discussion about regenerated fibers. I've already contextualized regenerated fibers for you in a previous video, but uh, now I'm getting I'm setting the stage for your exploration of materials that focus specifically on regenerated fibers. So you understand uh, things like wet spinning or dry spinning and because you've read or, uh, in a textbook or uh, watched some videos or listened to podcasts about the topic. And uh, so now um, you, you understand that that's how the fibers are made. But let's talk more specifically about the fibers themselves and what makes them unique or um, their history or where they come from. Uh, you will hear me wax wrathful, get very angry uh, at some point during um, some of the materials that I share on this, uh, in part because uh, who knew that uh, understanding that um, regenerated fibers are not natural fibers, that uh, you can't make claims about them like they just come from nature, uh, you can't call them things like organic uh, because they're manufactured. And uh, so uh, saying what trees they came from uh, is not only against the law in the United States, it's just downright deceptive. And yet every time we turn around, we see people talking about these regenerated fibers as if they're comparable to natural fibers. In most cases, they're not. In most cases, their properties are worse, right? Uh, one of the properties that is better is that they're a lot cheaper. Um, so that's part of the motivation uh, for, for this language. Uh, and of course, people who are looking for alternatives to cotton, when cotton has gotten uh, bashed quite a bit, um, and in some cases unfairly, cotton is very different, uh, differently grown in different places around the world. You cannot paint it with just one brush, uh, right? Just like you can't pay people with one brush. Uh, in the same way, you can't uh, say that all rayon is this or all rayon is that or that everything that's made from one f uh, source of the polymer, such as bamboo, has all sorts of properties it just doesn't have. So I I'm surprised to find all these years later that in some ways this particular discussion about regenerated fibers, where they come from, how they're made, um, more importantly, what their properties are, what their actual real properties are and why it's so important to communicate to consumers clearly about those things. Who knew that this would be almost one of the most important lectures uh, or, or topic areas that we would be discussing? Uh, who knew that greenwashing would be a thing and that people would be greenwashing rayon right and left or that a company like Lenzig would go to so much trouble to create a, an actually environmentally friendly fiber that consumers would completely ignore for 10 years in favor of a basically made up, not made up claims um, and a made up fiber. Um, and so that's the, that's the stage for our conversation about regenerated fibers. And so I really look forward to diving into this more with you and uh, uh, having some good discussion uh, with you about it online. Great. Still not the ending I want to have, but we're getting closer. Great is good, right? Or, or is this the ending? Is me spoofing about the ending actually the ending? I mean, some people put bloopers here, right? Yeah.